Amma, how we doing? Welcome to this special, this vlog. We're back on the vlog hype for this special. And it's mainly because Dan, which I'm sure you've either seen or are about to see, is in Peru, which is mental. <laughs> Operation Machu Picchu. Black Ops. <laughs> Another horrendous day. Now, we've just completed 4,200 meters and I, my face is very hot, <laughs> but we did it. So we were doing about 3,700 calories a day and currently I have diarrhea. I'm probably eating about, I'd say a thousand calories if I'm lucky, but I'm losing a bit of weight, so it's all good. Two more days to go. Right, I'll update in the morning. Three thousand nine hundred meters. First peak of the day. It's all down here from here. Mountain Jenga completed it. Hard to resist, got me looking like this, like the one before. Cause I must be strong. Cause this might go on for long. Cause I was wrong, and he's always there for you. Absolutely shy. I've still got seven marks to go. Dying. Wow, 
it's been a journey getting here. Uh, in more ways than one. Me and Leah are currently at the top. Uh, 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 third day. We're about, what, 3,000? 3,900 meters. Yeah, just wanna say, uh, say hello to everyone back home. Take it easy. So we're mile seven, but some chips, feeling a lot better. We're uh, now at the agricultural spot where they used to grow all their uh, bits and bobs. And there's like little steps. It's overwhelming, it's so huge. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, like seven, eight mountains, mountains or something. This has been descending most of the day and uh, we're still, we're still above the clouds. It shows you uh, how high we've descended from. <sighs> A few more miles to go. See you a bit. Okay, about to do the monkey steps. <laughs> Very steep. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. That's tricky. us Machu Picchu and 25 mile and then last mile down to there Inca Trail completed it thank you my man well done got me through Been a journey. Smashed them. 26 mile, 4,200 meters peak. Yeah, we killed it. Four nights through, through the mountains. mountains. Through mountains, through jungle. Through jungle. Over rivers, cross streets. Over rivers, cross streets. And through clouds. <laughs> through clouds. Above through the clouds. clouds. Above the clouds, below the clouds. Dehydration, altitude Dehydration. sickness, diarrhea. We had it all. Yeah, but we did it. Inca Trail. 
We've done it. It's complete. Match picture done. Now We're it's at. Time for a beer. Time for a beer. Currently driving down to the podcast with Loz. Hello, Loz. Hello, Pete. And uh, I have to say, I reg- I have a big regret. I have a massive regret because I didn't realise until it was too late. Basically, tomorrow, May the sixth, is my birthday, and I celebrated it with friends uh, last Saturday because it was bank holiday weekend. Lozzie was there. And it wasn't until I was smashed and it was midnight and it, it, it was all just a mess that I thought we'd been playing beer pong all day. And me and you should have vlogged a we fucking really beer pong versus. Because first of all, Lozzy is like fucking... But uh, this this is how I view beer pong, yeah? I feel like I've got, the, I've got the Kobe in me, do you know what I mean? I've got the shot. But you can just literally drink shit neat like it doesn't even affect you. I was still last year. Yeah, exactly. So we shit anyway. Beginning this vlog with regret. So that's what you could have had. Instead, you're going to have me talking about how I've been savaged by my cat. So, yeah, I mean, swings and roundabouts, in it? But basically, my, my poor cat, Small, he's going through it at the minute, right? He jumped off a high fence, we think about a week ago and one of his beans has burst ouch so we can't walk on his paw right so we take him to the vets they glue it have a whole kerfuffle with that he has to wear a cone on his head so that he can't lick it open again right so anyway we've got two cat flaps in our house one that goes from the conservatory outside another one that goes from the kitchen into the conservatory and yesterday poor small was trying to get through to the conservatory because I didn't realise that the door in the kitchen had pushed too, right? And the cone on his head is too big for him to get through the, the flap. So he's put his paw through, his good paw, his left paw, the paw that isn't injured, and pulled it back through and got his paw jammed, jammed in the door. And he's screaming and I run through and I see him in absolute agony and I see what's going on, his paw is absolutely jammed. So I tried to push the door through to release his paw, and of course, panicking, he absolutely slashed me up. Now, I don't blame him for a second, he was in pain and all the rest of it, but I'm bleeding, like bleeding out, right? Ben will put a picture, don't laugh. Ben, ben will put a picture up here of all the blood, right? Because I took a picture, of course. I took a picture after I'd saved the cat. I just want to add, yeah, this isn't one of them fucking Instagram, oh, I can't wait to eat this, but you're taking your time to fucking take a picture and put it on Instagram before you eat it. So evidently you can wait, because likes are more important than your own hunger, you fucking cunt. But anyway, that's just a rant. That's just a part of Instagram that I dislike, okay? If you're personally attacked, I apologise. But, yeah, so I saved the cat. But you got to think, right? He's just savaged my hand. I'm <laughs> So I saved the cat. You got a thing, right? He's just savage my hand. I'm bleeding, right? I'm shaking, right? I'm shaking, right? I'm shaking. Right? I'm, shaking. Yeah, I'm going into anaphylactic shock or some shit. I don't know what happens when you bleed now. But I've then got. He's still trapped. He's still trapped. So I've got to over. In a, in a moment, I overcome that. And I'm like, no, no. I must save this cat. I'll risk my left hand. So I then put my left hand to save him, managed to push him through, he runs off, I took him to the vet, said done with all my scans and stuff, he's absolutely fine, it's just a bit of a bruise. But yeah, but yeah, he's ravaged. So I couldn't edit yesterday, because look, look, this is my like mouse finger, and my other mouse finger, and they're deep. This camera might not be doing it justice, but they're fucking deep. So, you know, Look at that, that's gonna be a fucking gnarly scar, that is. That's from palm to nail. Gangster. That is very gangster. That's fucking gangster as shit. But yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. Looking forward to it. 28. You're already 28, and you're old. <laughs> I'm a young man, a young supple man of 27. Supple. But all I've got to do is get through today, and I won't have joined the 27 club. That's it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm in control. <laughs> you can literally <laughs> rail it off the road and murder me. I'm 28, so I'm fine. Yeah, exactly. 
If we stop at Sainsbury's, I'll get a white Bic lighter, because apparently they all had a white Bic lighter in their pocket, and then you could just fucking ditch it into like McDonald's drive through or something. Sounds good. Which, by the way, I am going to get a little McDonald's. What's the oh, time? We've got 36 minutes to get to a McDonald's That's it. for breakfast. That's been my week, yeah? Stressing about a cat. Expensive. Thank fuck they're insured. Get your pets insured. You know, I'd pay thousands to keep that little fucker alive. It's fine. But having the insurance, they pay for it. Don't know why I'm shouting. I'm angry. That's it. I'm animated. <laughs> I'm animated. I'm animated. And I'm coming. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, see what everyone else is up to. Technically, don't forget, don't worry about like timelines and shit, because I know he's sat with me now and he's going to be somewhere else doing his own shit in the past, but in the future of this video, because that's how vlogs work. They're a mess. It's a multiverse. And, and, and my screen is all foggy and murky. I ain't used this camera in ages, there's too much sun. There we go. Anyway, go see what the other boys are up to, and then come back to me for the outro. Sweet. Atma, how's it going? Welcome to my part of the vlog. My perspective, my life. Fuck you all. Now, I hope you're doing well, everyone. I hope everyone else in the Atma family is doing bits. I am going to be doing something today which I haven't done for a long time. We're talking years. I'd probably say at least six. And I'm going to play some fucking drums today. I'm going to a place called Earth Studios in Norwich, home of Doody Rhino. Um, I'm not planning on seeing him today. I don't know what he's doing. I might pop round. I might, you know, give him a little knock on the door break in, steal some shit, who knows, I'm from Yarmouth, it's all on a day's work, but I'm going to be playing drums today, I've got my guitar with me as well, I've rented a studio space out, it's going to be good, it could be disastrous, I could be absolutely shit on drums, I mean, I wasn't like amazing, I was okay on drums, but I haven't played for six or seven years properly, I've been on electric kits here and there. I haven't got one myself. I play mostly guitar now, so, you know, I've switched allegiances many years ago. But I just thought, fuck it. We've got the day. I've got the day off work. Let's just go play some drums, see what happens. I'll see you in the studio.
So that was, I think I booked it for three hours. Um, I was probably as shit as I thought I was going to be, not playing an actual properly acoustic kit for six, seven years. You do lose a bit, you know. I've got, still got some rhythm, but yeah, you can definitely tell that I've not played in a long time. I took my guitar with me as well played for about an hour and hour and a half ish on my guitar and yeah it was good 
I enjoyed it and hopefully you enjoy the footage and it was decent if you think I'm shit tell me I'm shit probably won't read the comments do you know what I mean nah every I'll read every comment you know but I won't reply to every comment because it's just a promise I can't keep but yeah um, I hope everyone else is having a good day I hope everyone else in the in the Atma squad is doing something exciting I assume Dan's like just exploring I don't know some new wonder of the world at this rate because that man is literally an explorer he is like Christopher Columbus you know minus the finding a new country kind of thing but he's the closest thing we've got now you know Dan's a national treasure up there he's got to be up there with David Attenborough he's got to be up there with David Attenborough you know what I mean anyway hope you enjoyed the vlog this is me signing out Send a bit up the Atma. So there we go. You just went all over the country in different time zones, different t places. In, in fact, actually, you probably went to Peru. And now you're back here in the car with me and Lossie. That's just mental how that works. But now it's over. But don't be sad that it's over. Just be happy that it happened. Yeah? And if you got this far, tell me down below in the comments whose segment was your favorite and then we're gonna pick one and we're gonna send a t-shirt out to you all right so there we go for getting to the end of this vlog you're in for a t-shirt competition congratulations we will see you very soon Bye.